Big news today and a round of applause. Nurses at UW Medicine received the first Pfizer COVID-19 vaccines in Washington State. Hi everyone and welcome to Creme 2 News at Noon. I'm Laura Papetti. In total, 13 nurses will receive COVID-19 shots from UW Medicine today. A nurse in the COVID-19 unit at Harborview Medical Center was the first to get the vaccine. So let's hear from her. I feel excited and for the first time in a while, I feel hope that there is an end coming to this. It's just been a long, exhausting road, and uh, I think we're all ready for this to happen and for immunity to happen. I know we're still a long time away from that, but we're taking steps towards it, and it feels really good to be making this, the steps towards it. And she's a nurse there on the front lines. Amy Fry had this to say to people who are reluctant about taking the vaccine. I have worked in the COVID ICU since it started. Um, we've seen a lot of terrible things there. If this can uh, prevent you from ending up in that ICU or prevent you from losing a loved one, I think it's just super important. So saying she's seen a lot over the last nine, 10 months. This week, Washington will receive a total of 62,400 doses. That's of the Pfizer vaccine. And we have confirmed that 8,700 of those will be coming to Eastern Washington, with most coming to Spokane County. More than 10,000 are going to King County. There are half a million people in the first group to get vaccinated. That's otherwise known as phase 1A. That group includes high-risk healthcare workers, first responders, and patients and staff at long-term care facilities. Now over in Idaho, they're on track to receive at least 13,000 doses of the coronavirus vaccines. The first shipment is set to arrive by the end of this week. The vaccine is being distributed to seven local public health districts. The locations were chosen based on the number of health care workers within each district. Like in Washington, health care staff, COVID patients and long term care facility workers are among the first to receive a shot. The state expects to get another 89,000 vaccines. That'll come in the second and third shipments. Fred Meyer confirmed that eventually their stores will be giving out COVID-19 vaccines. The chain said it's working to partner with local and state health departments to make it happen. Timing on when Fred Meyer could begin to give out those shots is based on the government's vaccine rollout plan. However, a pharmacist with the company said vaccines could be coming in, quote, in the very near future. Pharmacies like CVS and Walgreens will also be giving out the vaccination as well. And as we've reported before, once you get your first shot, you are not immediately immune to the coronavirus. The Pfizer vaccine requires doses be taken three weeks apart and Moderna requires four weeks between the shots. It is common for vaccines to require two or more doses. The chickenpox vaccine and the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine require two doses and the tetanus shot requires three. People can expect some side effects with the COVID vaccines, and that can include fatigue, muscle pain, fever, or chills for a day or two after receiving the shot. Some experts, including researchers at the University of Michigan, worry that those symptoms and other factors are the reason 30% of the population may choose not to get the second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. All right, so here's a look at a timeline and what's next for those receiving the vaccine the, these next few weeks. The people who get vaccinated today will get their second dose about three weeks from now. Pfizer's vaccine is only approved for people 16 years old and up. Pregnant women and children are exempt, but the middle of next month, studies will look into whether the vaccine is safe for them as well. 50 million are expected to be vaccinated by the end of next month. The question a lot of people Googled today, though, is when will they be able to get the vaccine? For most of us, probably not until at least next spring. The government says the general population can likely begin getting the shots in March. Officials say they have purchased enough doses to vaccinate every American by the end of June. But that relies on other companies being as successful as Pfizer in getting the FDA's approval and Moderna is up next. The FDA advisory panel hears their request for emergency use. That's coming up this Thursday. So U.S. officials say they are planning to ship out about 6 million doses as soon as Friday, and that is pending approval of its vaccine candidate. An FDA committee is set to review Moderna's vaccine again, as we said, on Thursday. This is the same committee that granted emergency use authorization for Pfizer's vaccine. 